So another common question for people when they're learning Reactor is they want to get some nice bling buttons, making them all look nice and pretty. Um, instead of the default ones, I'll show you the kind of thing that I'm talking about here. Let's just say, for example, just for speed, what I'm going to do is bring in uh, Microspace, which is a reverb, and you can see here it's very dull and boring over there. If I just set this up, so we're connecting the ensemble to the instrument, so we've got the audio in flowing through and out the other side, so we could use it as an effect. And um, you know, you can see here if we went to properties, appearance. We've got the ability to change the size and the type, but nothing else. So if you want to get something looking a little bit nicer, what we do is we insert an instrument that has something that we like the look of. So for example, um, if we come down to, let me have a think here. I'll tell you about one that would work. And um, yeah, I'll tell you what, if we go to effects, if we come down to flat blaster, Let's use that one. So flat blaster, look, bring this through. Nice knobs here. And um, whilst this is loaded, yeah, sure, it looks messy at the moment. We're going to sort that out. With our microspace now, when we click on these, you can drop down skin bitmap and you will see the available types. Um, you can also then reference these. Like, for example, here, this one's called knob uni. So if we go to size, drop down, and we look for knob uni, so let's find that. There it is. You can see now that the knob on my instrument that I'm working on has changed. We can do the same again. And uni means unipolar, so it's just literally going from a low value to a high value. There's no mid value, which would be bipolar. So let's take this as well. Let's just get these all sorted out. We can tidy it up afterwards. Mix. And um, you know, if there's a button, let's have a look. Um, there's nothing similar, but look, just for the moment, this will do. Let me take these away. Let's move this over. Let's get these tidied up a little bit. Just get them a little bit more lined up. And then, of course, we could change the panel color to match. So over here, choose color for the panel. Let's go for this magnifying glass and let's just pick something that goes quite nicely. There you go. So now what we can do is take away the flat blaster. That's gone. Let's lock this up. And this is now ready to go with the new knob. So we'll save the ensemble. File save ensemble. Stick it on the desktop. I'm going to say here custom button micro space so that's that what we'll do is we'll open the ensemble that we created so there it is it's got the buttons and if we have a look now properties it's only the one custom button that we've used so it's all nice and tidy so experiment have a look through the library see if there's any ones that you like in there and then go and nick their buttons Sliders as well, you know, lots of possibilities. Go looking.